Testing. Hello. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Um, getting back into the scroll. Right, I gotta talk to all the chiefs. Let's see who's the closest. This guy. Gate. Traveller, hold a moment, won't you? I'm looking for a cane. Ah, an inquisitive sort. I like it. I'm searching for a Nord Beastmaster named Nicolvara. My contacts tell me she's Sorry, just a bit sick. I think I need to get a knife <laughs> to cut a peel open. Marvelous. Yes. Apparently, she lives in a Durzog lair. Profit, of course. Durzogs make the perfect guard animals. But they're impossible to tame. If I could train and sell just one of those beasts, I'm headed to Bolgol Farm to warm up. It's not far, just... Well, I leave the details to you. Haven't you heard? The orcs are building a city. If there's a better opportunity for an ent... Truth be told, my original plan involved <laughs> several casks of the finest Hlalu wine. But who knew that the... Yes, Durzog. <laughs> Could have done beer. Dark Elves. I don't know if Dark Elves do beer though.
Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so tiny. Like a pygmy elephant. Tricks for the false king? Bad. So, you're a lapdog and a messenger? I have no time for corrupt games outside. You think you can accomplish what me and my strongest warriors have been unable to do? Very well, outsider. Restore. Have you seen an elf anywhere around here? Talks a lot, kind of opinionated. Looks a little like... No, of course not. That would have been too easy. This is what I get for hiring a tuskless runt. <laughs> he said he could improve efficiency in Greystone Qu... Not a word. And it smells like elf mischief to me. Like a necromancer. My husband, Chief Ramash, went down into the quarry to look for the elf and find out what happened to our workers. He came back covered in blood. And I can tell you... I'd appreciate any help you can provide. After what happened to the chief, the rest of the clan refuses to go anywhere near the quarry. If you can get in there, find out what happened, and make sure the quarry workers are safe. It's all because of that damn city they're building. The king needs stone for Orsinium's walls, for its keeps, for its damn towers. I don't know where... Typical elf. Too clever for his own good. All tricks and hasty maneuvers. But our clan depends on the quarry. In the longhouse, tending to his wounds, I'm Chief Ramash's forge wife. Trumnash is my clan, and Greystone is our quarry. These recent troubles, on top of the pressure to provide more stone for... How the hell do they get the stone out of that such a, a small gap? What are you doing down here? Don't you know the Greystone? What happened? The High Elf. That's what happened. Things were fine for a while. Rock flowed out of it. It was fog. Thick as stew it was. Chief Rama. We entered the fog, but we weren't alone in there. There were shadows, things in the fog. We were attacked. Find the hunt wife and her daughter and kill us. Like I said, it was dark, foggy. Couldn't make out anything except we just entered the cavity when our... Okay. Could be a Dwemer ruin. <laughs> okay, it's a Dwemer ruin. Fog's probably just steam. Steam? That's one 
Ouais, c'est pas fort. Porch bug getting it. I thought you were one of those damn machines. You're just lucky I've got the reflexes of a snow bear, or your guts would be decorating the floor. Now, is this another of my husband's half-hearted rescue attempts? Whatever. I guess I should be grateful. One of those metal... I don't. But I can hope, can I? Besides, I haven't seen her corpse. And she is her father's daughter. Then there's the elf. He knows what he's doing. And has more than a few tricks up his sleeve to deal with the machines. He's a clever bastard, I'll give him that. He knew there was a dwarven ruin down here, and used us to uncover it. He should have been more careful. Shabon, she's a brave young woman. Took an immediate interest in the High Elf and his fancy ways. The Elf didn't seem to mind. In fact, I... She was interested in magic. Black Reach. Is if I'm um, slow enough, stuff will respawn after that, dude. Nice.
Thank Trinimac. You're not one of those dwarven Dwemer things. But what are you doing down here? Did you come to help me escape from this dam? Our quarry, sure. But the dwarves carved out this quarry centuries ago. It looks like they started down here and were working their way up. Don't ask me what they used. He told me to stay here while he went to investigate the central structure. He used his control rod to walk right past the machine. Do I know this one, maybe? In this aisle? If it's one of those two that were exploring the other ruins. The ones I, that had the map. It's not the one I was thinking of. Oh, what a surprise, the Zark. I know him, though. Seems like we explored that place only yesterday. You do remember? Stros Mackay, Dwemer Ruins, that adorable animunculus clanker. Yeah. Those were good times. But now... Ah, so you've met them. I really do feel awful about what happened. I offered my help because I suspected that the ruins of Mizendine were down here. But I never expected such powerful defenses. Yes, but I was referring to the fog. It was a most curious thing. As soon as we unearthed the door... My control rod can only handle a few constructs at a time. The scale of this place is well beyond its capabilities. There may be an alternative, however. If we can find the construct control... Stuff. Whoa. Our paths cross again. Thank the eight. It's amazing how often good research leads to remarkable discoveries. Isn't it, though? That's what we in the business call a remarkably well preserved orb of illumination. Think of the device as a gigantic combination lock. Right. These emitters shine light upward towards the various lenses attached. Trial and error, like any other scientific endeavor. But be sure to keenly observe every rotation of the rings. That's the key to our success. We can manipulate the three kinetic resonators to adjust the lenses and rotate the rings. Follow me.
I moved the outside and second. Which one moved to the center? This one moves the center. to control the dwarven constructs fascinating i never imagined the control mechanism would fit inside so small a space it we had a mutually beneficial arrangement i taught them techniques for excavating the quarry more efficiently while um well no but they never would have gone along with it otherwise and they would have found it eventually right i suspected as much I did my best to help them, but there was so much confusion. If I can take control of the defense... Fascinating. Oh yes, it's perfectly safe to work the quarry. I... I have something I want to try. If I can make a few adjustments, I want to offer the constructs to the orcs. I'm sure they... Yeah. Constructs are still hostile, dude. What the fuck?
Kanka da bir kalp müziği aynı durumda naif. I'm worried this orange is gonna be dry. As soon as our scouts sent word that people were emerging from the quarry, I hurried down to see what was happening. Dwarves? That's the last thing I expected. From the stories I've heard, things involving ancient ruins and dwarves never turn out well. Then the elves survived? Perfect! That means I still get to wring his scrawny neck. Wait a moment. What's that sound? To arms, my clanmates! Let's show this mad elf what we think of his dwarven army! Don't be alarmed. I bring a gift. These constructs can work your quarry and build the great city of Orsinium. Damn you, elf. I should kill you where you stand. What did I say? Please, my friend, make her see reason. He got half my workers killed, and now he insults us as well? The elf's blood Greystone quarry belongs to Clan Tumnosh. It should be worked by Clan Tumnosh, not those metal monsters. As long as with orc sweat and orc muscle. We dishonor ourselves and our ancestors if we sat back and let machines do all the work for us. Their worth is considerable, and we'd be able to keep our quotas as we build back up. You're right. Thank you for letting me. Outsider. I confess I had my doubts, but my forge wife tells me you were as good as your word. Oh, very well. You performed a vital service for my clan. The least I can do is go and listen to whatever fancy words Kurog wants to shout at us this time. I'll see you in Orsinium, Outsider.
a state bridge. insisted on a mortal daughter for his forge wife but then he decided to pass over my eldest now Ashika wants to prove him a fool for marrying her little sister Malaketh alone knows why Ashika ran off wounded pride sent her to mortal descent no doubt idiot the girl will end up as ogre done or a spider hatchery Running off to Morkel descent is why Ashika's still unwed! Finding glory in old relics instead of at the king's side? Would have chosen her if she wasn't so headstrong! Ugh. Go on, ask! Old clan legend says it's full of relics. Every few years, a new crop of idiots runs off there to get killed. You want to know what's in there? Ogres and spiders. I can tell you how long it takes steel to melt. You want old stories? Ashika thinks she's steel in a world full of iron. For all the king blusters, she'd challenge him at every turn. Her little sister is content to just run a forge. Easy choice. Also, I punched her. Now <laughs> it was years ago. Alga said the breastplate I made her son was adequate. What's for my skill with a word from a Daggerfall parlor? Pa! Didn't help that Ashika's first dagger had Alga's tooth forged into the hilt. <laughs> Worth it, though.
are you? It doesn't matter. The hand of Morkul is mine. Once I find it, which is harder than I thought. That's why you're here, isn't it? She... What? Why? My what? Does she even listen to me? She never listens. Honor of the clan, I say. You'll find someone soon, she says. <sighs> All right. She sent you here to help. Good. Help me find Morkulden. The long lost home of Morkul clan. The old poems say it was buried in ice and stone marked thrice. See the statues? Morkul's stonework and very old. Morkulden has to be nearby, but I. Well, maybe you can find the way in. The old poems of Morgulden's founding mention a heroic trio who rebuffed Winter's grasp and found Haven beneath. Maybe they saved the clan from a tunnel collapse. Oh, there's some writing at the base of the statues. Couldn't make sense of it. Buried in ice and stone marked thrice, the statues must reveal the way inside. Why? Or king, our clan's ancestor. My little sister married the king. She's his royal. All shifted, sealed away. Oh, 
Samurai. The hand of Morkel is held in something called the, I think it said, Heart Forge? Also, we need to rekindle the forge. Endless breath has to mean bellows, and untold rage is a furnace? Strange word. Morkel clan prefers simple solutions that will last. Look for switches or some kind of mechanism. Something was up with the statues. You did it! Now for purest heart. Hmm. The old clan word for heart also means blood. Purest blood. Morkel blood? My father is Morkel's chief. My blood must work. Just a quick flash of the knife. Forge hammer. It's the cage around it. 
And if my clan's old word for heart also means blood, then this wasn't our heart. My mother says we're the best smiths in Rothgar because we put heart in the steel. Whose heart? Whose blood? Morkel clan hasn't had enemies since the days of Morkeldon. Did we feed our wife? You're right. The old poems aren't about honor we lost when we left Morkeldon. It's honor gained for burying our greatest shame beneath a mountain of ice. Not without blood magic. But I can't just leave it here. It's... It's our heritage. I'll bring it back to the stronghold, but let's... Of course. Returning the forge hammer will fill my clan with pride. Enough to take... We must make peace with our ancestors and remember the lessons they taught. They've forged with clean hands for generations. The clan needs to know why that... I heard a rumbling when you rekindled the forge. Maybe another way out. Anything to avoid those ogres. Close to Orsinium. Useful if we ever need to return to the blood. I have no They sent me. I'm glad. Not much to tell. I couldn't say. Lady Sylvia. Lord E. I can't collect any more side quests. I'll turn off for now.
address the clan. Is that your ally, Ashaka? Quiet! Ashaka speaks on a matter concerning the clan. Morkel clan, I come to you with a hard truth. But when have we ever feared the truth? I return from Morkelden with our clan's greatest treasure. Behold, the hand of Morkel. It's true our ancestors locked away the hammer, but not for the reasons we thought. Morkelden housed a blood forge. It's true, our clan once turned to dark magic, but they faced this hard truth and abandon it. For the blood we work into the metal is our own, not that of our enemies. I say to you, that is the strength of Morkel. This hammer shows our ancestors' strength. With it, we forge a new destiny. Prepare yourselves, my clan. Soon we march to Orsinium. We shall build it anew. Don't exactly. Do you see how my clan looks at the forge hammer? The fire? Now I name you Bloodkin to Morkel clan. Last thing I'll do before heading to Orsinium. The king needs a clan who can work its great forge. You think we'd let Shatul embarrass us with their inferior iron? outsider. I'm not sure what you did exactly, but you somehow restored peace to my... Sure, why not? I'll go to this moot and listen to what Kurag has to say. It's the least I can... Big place. It's a big boy. Rigert would like to speak words with you. Most excellent to be seeing you again, my bestest friend. It is I. Oh, friend, you see to the depths of... Really? You? Trade these Nord delegates. Oh, Rigert has no idea. Because this ambassador's not... Oh, it's that guy.
I should have been at my husband's side. He'd still be alive. Well, look upon my husband and weep, for his next journey is to the Ashen Forge. Perhaps a new chief will deal with Kurog's latest nonsense. Until then, leave us to our misery. see many new faces at Chateau Range. Our only neighbors are surly giants. Speaking of which, Chief Ogzor had a nasty encounter with a giant's club a short while ago. Best keep your voice low. We don't know how much time he has left. Dying. No amount of healing magic can fix smashed brains. Soon as he goes, Chateau is in for dark times. The clan will tear itself apart without a good contender for chief. I want to prevent that. We know which giant smashed the chief. I want to return the favor. That'll show the clan I'm a good contender, which would help keep the clan together. Thing is, I'm no tracker. Care to help me find the bastard? I don't really know. Most giants are surly enough. Urkel the Cleaver, we've come to learn, is a mean drunk. Once, he tore up an Echater's crest and tossed it across the snow like he was skipping a stone. Heard they found it in Farron's stronghold. You're right. Only made it a hundred paces before it slammed into a tree. Took half a day to saw that bloody crest out. We tried to reattach the thing, but the Echater wanted nothing to do with it. Most of Chatul's warriors died in the first Winterborn raids. Without a good contender for chief, neighbor will fight neighbor for a title they can't hope to hold. We can't afford that, after losing so much to the raiders. Truth is, everyone's afraid. The chief kept this clan together for two decades. A strong contender will quiet their nerves. Slaying the giant who killed Chief Ogzor? None will doubt my strength. You want me to quote the Code of Malekith? Go on about vengeance and grudges? I've had my fill of that. Something I learned around all these Echater. The ones who bray the loudest never lead the pack. Someone whose actions speak loudest. Someone like Chief Ogzor. Yes, I want to be chief. I spent two decades watching this clan prosper under his guidance. I'm not relaxed. I just wasn't willing to kill my best friend for his clan. Contenders for chief fight it out in the Bloody Knoll. It's our shrine to Malakath, up on the hill. He who emerges is chief. Simple as that. I don't really know. Most giants are surly enough. Urkel the Cleaver, we've come to learn, is a mean drunk. Once... Truth is... Ha! Exactly! Oh, you were... Contenders for chief fight... Well, of course. That's how... She'd face... Con we travel where the... Find Urkel the Cleaver.
Yazara? Yazara! I guess she's out. Listen, we both know you're the one who avenged the chief. Happy I could land a few good smacks. I'll tell you. That's up to the clan. I'm only doing it because Shatul needs a chief. Can't say I enjoy staking a claim while my friend is dying in that tent. I'm Small not... clan. Our stronghold let Shatul camp there in the summers in return for choicest pick of a Chater. Chief Ogzor wanted to strengthen the bond by men. But Shruka refused to be traded like the choicest pick of a Chater. She chose exile rather than marry me. A month later... Don't really know. Shatul tries not to talk about its exile. <coughs> Chief Ogzor forbade anyone from speaking of her. I think he blamed himself for pushing her away. After her mother died, Ushruka and her father were always at odds. It was an... No. I've always respected how Ushruka held her ground, and I wasn't too keen on the match. I'd known her since she was a child. So going from Uncle Lorig to husband? We call that a Valenwood marriage. But don't let a wood orc hear you say it. Never. Chief Ogzor knew I'd consider that a dishonor after what he'd done for me. It was my own fault. I was more full of pride than sense back then. Shatul warned us of re Chief Ogzor's mother. Yazara, look! I cut this off her kale the cleaver. My friend here struck the killing blow. Impressive, Lorig. Why don't you show the others? Sound advice, as always. Come closer. We should speak. You avenged my son. I will not forget what you did for Shatul. If Shatul is to survive, there must be a new chief. Lorig Ogesh returned from Orsinium shortly after my son's injury. He declared himself a contender, but I'm not sure why. The boy never had... Shatul needs a chief who looks out for the clan before himself. We have no walls to hide behind. Only I sent him after Scamper, our laziest at Chater. <laughs> Orgesh can explain the task. He's never been talkative, but see what you can learn as you aid each other. I want to... A fan of the... of little... little Drig? That's... Already, so... Who are you? I don't need your help. All right, let's finish this so I can get back to the clan. Yuzara asked for a snow truffle. This lazy beast can sniff it out. No clue. A potion, maybe? Scamper will sniff the patch. If there's a snow truffle, Scamper is fast asleep. Near boulders or trees. Lots of them between here. I lived in Orsinium for years. Sometimes I forget Shantul is home. <laughs> Come on.
Nice. That's no truffle to you. I think you found one. Get that snow truffle. Did you find Olgesh? Good. Give it here. Ogesh passed my test. Scamper has always required two people to wrangle. For Ogesh to send you back with the snow truffle tells me he learned to master his temper. He'd have tried to kill you. But you sleep. Larig and Ogesh are the only clear contenders for chief. They must enter the bloody knoll and duel beneath the stern gaze of Malakath. The one who emerges shall be the I have not forgotten what you did for us. On behalf of Shatul, I name you Bloodkin. You shall always have a place among us. Olgesh should be at his tent. And thank you for the snow truffle, Bloodkin. Sometimes the smallest favor. It was my son's favorite food. His hearth wife. She has dozens of recipes. He loved them all. He won't be able to taste it. His mind, you see, there's nothing left of him. The poison I shall feed the husk that remains of his body. No, it is me, murdering my own son. Shatul must survive. Before a new chief is chosen, the old chief must die. By the time Lorig and Olgesh reach the Bloody Knoll, I doubt that. An orc of Shatul would truly understand. You are neither. Yet you are blood. I mean, he's brain dead, so. Like, the lights are on, but no one's home. Over here, we need to talk. Oh, hmm. You looked different from inside Olgesh's helmet. Ushruka, exiled daughter of Chief Ogsor. A merchant friend keeps me informed of Shatul. When she brought... As an exile, I'm not allowed to enter Shatul. But Olgesh is no exile. I traded him a new set of armor for his own. The real Olgesh has a squeak in his voice. One day, he paid Morkel's forge wife to make him sound like an ogre. He always wore the helmet everywhere he went. It's... Have you been to Orsinium? The king hammers away at traditions which keep orcs locked. Some won't. They may challenge me, and I'll have to kill them. But when any other clan clucks about the Code of Malakath, Shatul will band together as we always do. We'll triple their rate. I think we'll get rich off. Lorig is a fine warrior, better than my father. But that's the problem. He never challenged me. I... I haven't thought about that in years. He was always Uncle Lorig to me. Lorig's heart was never in the match. But refusing would have led to a feud. Father was insufferable. Now I head to the Bloody Knoll. There I will kill Lorig and become chief of Shot. Gladly. Tell her the truth. I don't care. Thought it sounded like a woman. Thought they sounded like a woman. My son. Chief Ogzor is dead. Lorig waits at the Bloody Knoll. His own what? Ushruka was exiled from Shatul. I would never allow... She... That foolish girl. We're a traditional clan. Shato will never accept an exiled woman as chief. Had she become Larig's hunt wife as my son wanted, Shato would have stayed for the wedding. We would have been there when the Reach attacked Larig's clan. Her selfishness led to their destruction. A chief who lost his entire clan to raiders from the Reach? He refused to challenge my son, to give him an honorable death. Take this ritual blade. It is flawed at its core, just like Lorig and Ushruka. Replace the blade. Fair? I just watched my son die. None of this is fair. The flawed blade is a test. 
A weak contender who survives despite this setback deserves to become chief of Shatu. When the blade fails, the weakest contender will most assuredly die. If they... If she... I'm gonna go against my initial instincts and give the blade to the dude. Gash is in Orsinia. He saw the Dishonor before I came to Shatu. No. What have you done? Shatu must survive. Don't hold back, Lorig. Malakath favor the victor. You've returned. I see. I convinced our clan that Ashruka's victory would test our faith in Malakath's favor. They'll accept her. For now. This is not justice. So now we have a new chief. Everyone is ready to forget Chief Ogzor. Or Kale the Cleaver robbed me of my husband's mind. But Glogosh is to blame. She secretly worshipped. I am no longer. Try the giant's camp where Chief Ogzor fell. Or Lugbag. Shatu. I don't know. A new era begins today. The era of the Orc. At King Kurog's side, we shall lead Tamriel to greatness. I know the cheers won't last. I'll need to guard against challengers from all sides to be twice the chief my father was. But for now, of course you do. I don't know if I can attend the moot myself. I should. You're the one who helped Scamper find the snow truffle. It's nothing. Well, Stubbs went missing that night when I caught her out in the snow. Your reputation spreads far and wide, German's guardian.
go up in the water. Let's get rid of the orange. Yeah. If you throw up on me, I'm going to knock you off of there. Count on it. I'm going to turn the hater on too. Right place, wrong door. Okay, it would have been the right door if it was right. And my champion returns. Still alive, and with most of your vital body parts intact. <laughs> my shield wives are me. I are. told them not to bet against me. But enough of that. Were you successful? Perfect! You've done me a great service, my friend. The moot will be remembered as the turning point for Rothkar. The day when all the clans united under the rule of a strong and visionary king. A new golden age for the Orsimer begins here. Now? Why, we prepare for the moot, of course. It will be packed! Clan chiefs from the farthest reaches of Rothgar will come together to finally accept my vision for the future. This is how a kingdom is born. <laughs> Too bad Basrog is going to miss it. Don't worry about Basrog. He hasn't been seen since the attack on the temple. He's probably gone so deep into hiding or run so far away that we'll never see that traitor again. Why should I be? You're concerned enough for both of us. <laughs> but come on, you're worse than my shield wives. Have a drink. Have the whole damn keg if you want. Something is up. Hello! I've been looking all over the city for you. Oh, hi. I had the hardest time finding you. Looked all over the city, even got lost once or twice. I did find an adorable sweet shop, though. They had these wonderful tiny cakes that were absolutely delicious. Who knew all cakes could taste so good? Right to business, huh? Not even a hi. Good to see you. Fine, fine. Anyway, High Priestess Solgren needs our help. She wants us to work together on this. When you have a moment, you need to go... S it's a rescue mission. But she said she wants to give you the details personally. After all, you did save her life. I can see it now. Oh, my savior. Let's retire to my private chamber. Seriously, Solgra wants to keep this quiet. Said the situation was sensitive. She especially doesn't want the king to know. When I suggested asking the king for help, she insisted that that would only get more people killed. No, doesn't have a clue. That's what makes it so exciting. This is an honest-to-goodness secret mission. Have you seen my bow skill? I'm sure Solgra noticed and said to herself, That's a fine young lass. I'll meet up with you later. Go see Solgra, but don't take too long.
Supplies are now reaching the city on a regular basis. Maybe now our basic city functions will get repaired. Thank you for responding so quickly to my summons, especially considering everything you've been doing to support the king. Did Everly tell you that I have a delicate si she can be rather exuberant but i suppose the term is accurate i debated with myself before deciding to ask a shield wife from one of the clans sent me an urgent plea for help it appears that the clan's chief has been taken captive by a fanatical group of how do i put this they're members of a religion yes but it's not the same the vosh rock are trinamak extremists who bend the sacred teachings to their own purposes they've been gathering power and influence at an alarming rate if they kill the captain, it will give the Orc traditionalists one more arrow to put in their quiver. And they won't use it only against us. Go to Farin's stronghold and meet Everly. Stop the Voshrak and rescue the chief before it's too late. I just ask for your discretion in this matter. If the king finds out, two things before you go. First, avoid bloodshed on your way into the stronghold. Mm -hmm. The captives won't be immediately harmed if the Voshrak feels secure. Second, I'm not sure which chief was taken. The message... Not much. They're rather secretive. Keep to themselves. They apparently wear masks whenever... Well, they weren't here when I arrived in Orsinium. I wasn't aware of them, at any rate. Of course, we were... Our temple guides people to Trinamak and presents his teachings so they can decide for themselves. The Vosh Rak, on the other hand, shove Trinamak's blade down their throats and tell... You can say what these extremists have in mind. I'm not privy to their ultimate goal. I would speculate that eliminating a chief... As with the attack on the temple, we don't want to give the captives a... I don't think so. At least not immediately. They're keeping the chief alive for a reason. Okay, so hopefully I can try and talk them down. Oi. Quiet. Please keep your voice down. Don't call attention to us. All right, all right. But if we have to spend another night out in the freezing cold. I understand. I'm sure we'll find an available room soon. Oh, Jesus.
Full carnival. I knew you could do it. Did you like the trail I left for you? Mm. It was easy. Hide, release an arrow, move forward, repeat. And I was able to stay hidden the whole way. Well, mostly. I did almost get caught that last time. Scared the leaves off my tree, if you catch my meaning. I dove down here to hide and wait for you to arrive. Worked a lot better in my head, truth be told. found out that the stronghold contains a large prison of some sort, but I have no idea where they hid the thing. Nothing around here looks like a prison to me. Oh, I did hear something else while I was sorting my arrows and waiting for you. A couple of Bosch rocks were arguing. One of them stormed off toward the Overlook. He sounded pretty upset with the cold. We might be able to get the prison's location out of him. Or, you know, he could alert the entire stronghold to our presence. The cultists talk a lot. We might be able to eavesdrop on them and hear something useful. Or we can search the buildings and hope for the best. If you discover anything useful, meet me behind the Great Hall and try not to raise any alarm. The longer we can keep the Vosh Rock... Now that you mention it, the Vosh Rocks seem pretty well equipped for a deranged cult. I've seen armies that didn't have some of the equipment they're using. You think one of the alliances might be fun? Your size? Huh. As much as I crave adventure, I never grew accustomed to the taste of war.
Yes. Fuck. Where to go if someone else? Swear to God, if the, the prisoners are dead because another player, I'm gonna be so pissed off. On leave.
Okay. Did you learn anything about the prison? I gathered some in underground, like in a dungeon or something. I hope you don't expect me to grab a shovel and start digging. I don't do that. Then this must be our lucky day. Not only have we avoided detection, but have found this rope in the barrack. Follow me. I'll secure the rope and drop it into the well. Just be careful. Come on, the well is this way. I'll hang back and look around up here a little more while you head into the prison. Okay. Interesting use of a rope. Remarkably convenient, too. I'm surprised nobody tried that before. Hmm. You're not a prisoner. I know everyone they tossed down here, and you're definitely not with the Bosch Rock. All right, I get it. Me? I am no one. Just a humble engineer who built and maintained this prison. Before they tossed me into it, that is. I've been able to avoid the... Well, I designed it, but most of the heavy lifting was done by the orcs of Clan Farin. The chief hired me, despite my obvious non... Well, not just me. They threw a lot of the clan members down here. And then the bastards, they opened the cages. Let the actual prisoners loose. It was some kind of sick game to them. But I never heard an alarm. You must be sick. Well, this elixir might come in handy. There's a chamber you might come across. Fills with gas if the cell gates open accidentally. A fail-safe measure, you see. Drink ah, it tastes like barf, but works like magic. Oh, there's also a spike room. Amazing defense mechanism. Um, no, not if you want to make it through the prison. But there's a fourth valve hidden around the wall near the exit gate. Close that valve before the others, and the trap won't reset. Consider this a reward. Gods. He's let the best of him do. My heart. You again. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you liked me. So Kurog's pet shows up again. Are you here to make sure I am still a prisoner? Kurog sent you to kill the captured chief, but he didn't tell you it was me. <laughs> How typical. 
world of the Trinimac Priestess. She's just like the idiots who attacked my stronghold and threw me down here. They released my prisoners and made a gate. What are you talking about? After I left Orsinium, I returned here just in time to watch... That's nice. I have adoring admirers. But I had nothing to do with them or the temple. Now do you want to chat or do you want to get out of here? I do indeed. But the prison defenses are still at... First, we need to get through the Chamber of Scorn, where we keep the most dangerous prisoners. The chamber is protected by poison gas. If you run into trouble, you'll have to deal with it, what with my injured arm and all. Damn, Gates. I forgot about them. Blasted engineers always making upgrades. So just so you know, if we don't do this exactly right, we're both going to die. I need to turn the manual override switches in the correct order to open the gate to the next chamber. But this is the chamber. As soon as I start the process, poison will begin filling the room, and those cell doors are going to swing open. I'll try to be quick. You met Freelon. <laughs> I knew they couldn't kill that damned Breton. The man is a genius. Glad you took his advice. That potion might save you. Once I turn this lever, there's no stopping, so get ready. Turning the first lever. Now! Fuck, it's an ogre. Why are you doing prison trolls? Okay, so I got trolls, what about giants? Welcome to the Spike Room. I'd brag about the craftsmanship if we weren't trapped down here. See those valves up? Well, not exactly. Those expensive engineers I hired built in override timers on the locks. If 
you don't close the valves fast enough, the trap resets. We built it to have... Just watch out for those spikes. They're reinforced metal sharpened to razor points. They might be coated with poison. Depends on when the last maintenance tasks were performed. Get skewered by a couple of those spikes and... Clever bastard. That must be the valve near the exit gate. If I'd known, I would have had it removed. Circumvention measures can lead to a breakdown of the entire prison system. a little farther and we'll be out of here. I refuse to leave one prison just to enter another. Damn right you're not. Make a move and I'll cut you. Just a flick of my wrist and your guts will decorate the floor. Now tell me. My arm is fine. But I couldn't get out of the prison on my own, so killing you down there wasn't an option. Now I understand. Kurog wants to save face. Can't have a rival chief die at the hands of fanatics who worship the same god as our so-called king. Help Kurog. Where was our so-called king when my clan was at the mercy of the Botrok? Where was he? How many times do I have to tell you? I had nothing to do with that. You want to know the truth? Find Usha. Chief Vazrog, lower your weapon, please. I don't want to loose this arrow, but I will if you don't stand down. Damn it, Wood Elf, fine. But you might as well put that arrow in my heart because I won't let you turn me over to Kurog. Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot. So now what? I've never taken an orc chief prison. Well, I guess we could take him to High Priestess Sogra. She did send us to save him after all. All right then, we've got a plan. Right, sneak Vazrog into Orsinium and get him to Sogra. Easy as boar knuckles pie. You can put the bow down, Elf. Go with you as long as you promise not to turn me over to Kurov.
out for this Got a mysterious clan member. them through they're friends it's good to see you again though we seem destined to always meet during troubled times my husband lives truly the man is favored by Malakath. I suppose I need to thank Solgra for sending help when I requested it but his shield wife yeah after the chief met with Kurog he immediately set out for foreign he was angry but he refused to talk about it. We arrived to find our stronghold overrun by those Trinimac fanatics. The Vosh Rock fell upon us before we knew what was happening. What? Of course not. Chief Bosrog would never put innocence in danger. Not even if Kurog insulted his honor. Very well. But my chief is innocent. We must clear his name. Then I trust he will stay that way, or you will answer to me. Take this as a token of thanks for assisting the chief, and for your willingness to find the truth of the dark matter. Outsider, I bring a message from the king. King Kurog requests the honor of your presence, outsider. My beloved awaits your arrival at the keep, so do not linger. Of course I know what the king wants. He wants to see you. Ah, uh, outsider, my apologies. The king's mood has set everyone on edge. You could literally cut... Go! Have you no sense of urgency? Why? Why does the sun rise and fall each day? Why do the spring rain? Well, yes! Of course, something did. I welcome Morgul Clan to Orsinian. Their work is without compare. Some will say otherwise, but they are wrong. station.
Have you ever looked at these statues? I mean, really looked at them. Legends carved into bronze or stone. The work of hundreds of hours, likely crafted by people. And who decides who we honor and remember? The victors, of course, for they get to write the history. But there are two sides to every story. No, to the vanquished, this isn't a statue of a hero. It's a tribute to a tyrant. Many see me in the same way, a tyrant, forcing my ideas upon the people. I get reports, things my advisors think I need to know. One report claims that the Wood Elf is keeping company with Bosrod. When two of my scouts confronted her, she... Evely aids my enemy. I don't the Wood Elf has chosen the wrong side. I worry that you might follow her example. I'm sure you are. I thought that was you when I saw you enter the keep. You were in there so long, though, I was beginning to think you'd never come back out. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Right, right. Uh, a little wood elf gave it to me. Described you to a turn and asked me to deliver this letter. Not sure why she was hiding under that hood and why she spoke with a funny accent. As a matter of fact, although it didn't make a lick of sense to me, she said the letter itself wasn't important. She said that what really matters is the beginning of every thought. Hidden at the inn. We are at the inn. Hidden. Don't smell. Which in though? Do you know? Uh, come to, well, maybe if there's actually a hidden message and it's not just some. Is there an in called the hidden room? Corner Club. The Orcsmith, the Nords are rude, and the Bretons. Gods, don't get me started on the Bretons. I ain't complaining and I ain't asking questions. I'm just glad I finally got paid. Damn moot. First the king, a wood elf and two orcs. Ah, my apologies. I couldn't reveal anything until you said the proper words. Take the oh. stairs down into the storage area. Look for an opening in the wall. It leads to our... You can't just walk 
look into the Vosh Rock face? That's suicide. We have to find out what the Vosh Rock have planned. If we wait for them to strike, it will be too late. Whatever they're planning, it's going to happen soon. They just about told me as much when they threw me into my own prison. Maybe we should have left you in there. For all we know, you deserve to be in prison. Listen to me, Elf. I didn't attack anyone. If you left Orsinium and they ambushed me. I sent you to rescue the Chief Everly. I wouldn't have done that if I believed he was guilty. You lied to us, High Priestess. You knew who you were sending us to rescue the entire time. This feels like one giant trap, and we walked right into it. Oh, he found us. I'm sorry that Everly is upset, but I did what had to be done. I know you have questions, and you're probably just as angry with me as Everly. But please, hear me out. I withheld certain details, yes, but I had good reasons. If cultists killed Basrag in Trinamak's name, it would have started a civil war. Basrag's shieldwife approached me after the Vashrak attacked Farron's stronghold. She knew the king would do nothing for those who didn't accept his rule. Chief Basrag was ambushed at the same time the temple was being attacked. Someone wanted to blame Basrag for the Malakath fanatics, while also removing the chief from the battlefield. It was a brilliant plan. But the Vashrak want to make a statement, something big. Basrag thinks it involves the moot, where all the chiefs will be... I'll send scouts ahead, but you'll need to get inside and do whatever it takes to uncover the exact... You two have your orders. Scout the temple exterior. The others will join you shortly. Finally! Something to do that doesn't involve a message. That's who that was. I hate this situation. I really do. Being a hero, that's supposed to be pure and honest. Good is good and evil is evil, you know what I mean? But nothing. I'm not even sure whose side I'm on anymore. When Basrog and I sneaked into the city, two guards got lucky and happened to be in the right place at the right time. They attacked, but I killed two guards who were just doing their job. They probably have loved ones, pets. I... I don't know if I can do this anymore. I knew you were going to say that. Still, I'm not sure I can get past Solgra's lies. She tricked us into helping Chief... I can do that. Besides, it'll be nice to get out of the city. Try to forget about the price on my head. So Filgor poisoned his own brother, and he expects the Nords to follow him. I'm going to stop just immediately going for the wrong place. They'll come across on the way, trying to run away. There it is. What? 
Looks like it could have been an aqueduct or a bridge. Disappointing news and downright awful news. The good, Barzrog's instructions were easy to follow. The disappointing, I have no idea how to find the entrance, and there's no way to get inside without being a I lost a bet with Talvia, and now I owe him a traditional Valenwood dinner. You know, the kind wood elves like to eat. I can't <laughs> oh, fuck. To see the look on his face when he realizes what kind of meat he Yeah. I guess I just needed to get out of the city. Oh, uh, please don't serve him, Wood Elf. I wound up on the king's most wanted list. Thanks for pushing me. Infiltrating a cult is certainly better than hiding. Well, with all the runners we spotted, we know we're in the right place. We just need to find a way to get inside without being noticed. You know. Well, a few of the masked cultists passed this way a little while ago. Then we heard a large commotion over there to the west. I can't be sure, mind you, but I told you thinks. Well, he thinks that the group might have walked into an Achartair mating ritual. The sounds from the west, the screams. If so, the noise was horrible. Then it got real quiet. Just don't get too close to those Achartairs. I hear they become extremely violent when anything interrupts their. Some humans do too. I'll move away, please. Rogues. Shaldar. I don't know whether to stay here or go. Shaldagon and I were on our way to Arsinia, accompanying other artisans answering the king's call. We were attacked by some... I don't know. Thank you so much. There were a lot... Glothans of... Late. The others have already gone inside. Get a move on. All right. Delusion is so weird. It looks like I'm wearing robes, but I feel so 
unencumbered. This is like the time I licked one of our great hists. He's not naked. Exposed. It's nearly an Looks like you found an amulet too. But tell me, was I right? Did the Achates get all frolicsome on those cultists? Wait a moment. Your amulet. Well, the illusion seems to be holding up, at least for now. Hopefully it won't fail at a particularly critical moment. Anyway, this place is enormous. Besides, you never put all your acorns in one basket. We need to find out what the Voshrak are up to and fast. Lies and I will look around out here while you and Tal see what the high range Good idea. And let's not take too long. Ha ha. Tease me all you want, but I know. Stay safe. Lies and I will meet all up right. with you later. We can do this. It's the whole reason I came to Rothgar. Oh, that's where you're wrong. I knew you'd understand. us to all dangers grant us the courage to complete the trial you place before us that doesn't sound good i thought we were just spying on a meeting you the chosen of the vashrak have shown bravery against the malakath heretics even going so far as to invade the temple we love and cherish but one challenge remains a challenge to test you to select the most worthy for our most important mission. Fanatics were the ones who raided the temple. Now choose a scroll and select a blessing to help you in your ordeal. Elder Azul will answer any questions you have. Now, in Trinamax's name, you stand among them. The mission before us requires the best the Voshrock has to offer. This trial will determine those. Oh, the details are the purview of those who complete the mission. But Trinamac thanks you for volunteering, no matter how things turn out. The last part of the trial requires that you obey the council without question, but you won't have to deal with that until the very end. Remember, if you succeed, you will be named a chosen of... That's a strange question for someone who holds your rank. Haven't you learned this much already? The temple's leaders are too forgiving. They live in harmony with non-believers. Trinamac is a god of war. He does not tolerate false gods such as Malakath. Patience, Overseer. All will be... I don't think this is just some routine meeting. What in Akatosh is... My father always says... The rabble face death every day, while the brave always find a way to defeat it. I've never been exactly sure. Yes. Have you studied the scroll? So, which blessing have you decided upon? Will you accept the blessing of Avalian and become one with the wind? Then let Trinamac be your shield against the danger. Listen well, for I do not like to repeat myself. To unlock the door, you need to activate take too long the switches reset and you will need to begin again others may pass you and take the position you fight for and don't worry about killing anyone they're certainly going to try to kill you trinamac favors the victorious in battle but their time starts
we made it. I knew we could do it. You did great back there. I have to say, I'm impressed. Uh, we did, didn't we? I'm pretty sure that was because of Vashraf were busy trying to deal with you. I'm the council, right. <laughs> Sounds like my mother. Your final test starts now. Are you here to harm us or to join us? To make the awesome stronger than they ever imagined? Show us where your loyalty lies. Spill the blood of your ally in Zinimax's name and spread the truth. Fuck off, your fanatics. My amulet stopped working. And did they just say something about spilling my blood? Oh my, you're not considering following through with this, are you? Fuck no. That's... that's insane! Make I'll ward the door while you search the room. Thanks, Find out man. what they're planning. Then go and let the others know. I think it's the king's mother. I've still got protection so far. That's either supposed to have disappeared or will disappear soon. to get worried about you we've found out all by himself are you sure he can handle that what am i saying of course you're sure we might yeah i was suddenly as naked as an ash tree that had lost its but something 
but not enough to provide the edge we were hoping for. Flies and I will go warn Chief Basram. This whole thing? Out of our inn. That's tyrannical. You should have thought about that before you help the enemies of our king. Now get out How of infuriating! Way. I don't even like the place that much, but I'll be damned if I let them. Orsimer soldiers barged into our inn and kicked us out. Now they won't let anyone back in. They decided the soldiers place guards at all the exits, even the back one. Damned if I know how they found out about that. I should have known that hiding folks in our inn would eventually bite us in the arse. This is ridiculous, though. They sent an entire squad of soldiers. Haven't you and your friends caused us enough trouble already? Well, there might be a way. There was a merchant here earlier. Smelled like fermented achater cheese that was left. To be honest, never seen her before. I make it a habit. What? That was the first thing that... That's between you and him. Sarang, you idiot. Well, I'm not cleaning this up. Oh. Morkel wears a mallet of court. Now I see people willing to spend. I was hoping you'd come by. Made sure to wear my favorite fragrance so that the innkeeper's daughter would notice me. <laughs> She's a fight. I'm awfully friendly with everybody. That's that's really good. Why do I? Why do I know him? Now, since you did a good turn for me and didn't report me to the authorities. Oh, that's right. I I'd do a good turn for you. A person in my line of business. Well, we hear things. You need to get into the inn. I can get you into the inn. Tit for tat, as the Britons say. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on, and I don't want to know. By giving you this key, my friend, you'd be surprised at how much you can accomplish by slipping some gold into a purse. 
Even a soldier's purse. So go help your friends. With this, I consider my victory. Yeah, just don't do anything stupid again. I was running messages for the cute wood elf and the grumpy orc. When I returned, they never saw it coming. The soldiers grabbed the orc. Whoever the traitor is, they've made them parent. I mean, whoever the fanatic leader is, they've made them. The king bloody paranoid! It's probably the mother. Handler has returned. Have you come to see what you accomplished? That sounds serious. You dare to question my actions? To imply that I don't have the best interests of my people in mind? What? How dare you spread such false accusations? Has Basrod filled your head with more of his malic? More questions? You're beginning to try my patience. I hear the footsteps. Ah, outsider. You never cease to surprise me. I suppose your reason... So proud. So sure. So certain. The Vashrak do exactly what they've been ordered to do. They will eliminate every obstacle that threatens... Stop me? I don't think so. The order... Let it be known, the outsider who stands before us has betrayed our great city. For your actions, I condemn you and your allies to death. A sentence you shall execute by your own hand. May Trinimac guide your blade. I'm sorry it had to come to this. What I do, I do for the good of the Orsimer people. Awake? Good. It's about time. I would have been disappointed if you died after I dragged you down here. You learn a lot about healing when you're King Korog's shield wife. Looks like my skills apply to outsiders. I admit I never trusted you. But you've helped our people. You deserve better than to fall to the Forge Mother. I drag My beloved does what he must to unite our people. You know this is true. You've seen it. 
The clan chiefs, the chiefs have already headed to the moot, and Vashrock guard the keep. If you want to survive, you have to leave now. I don't want to fight you. I expected you'd say that. Take this. It will open the cells in the dungeon below the keep. Just take your friends far from this place, and let my beloved... My beloved believes that this is the... No. He hoped that the chiefs would come to believe in his vision, to see the future. Why would they do that? They'll see a king who fought the fanatical Vashrak, who tried desperately to save the chiefs against overwhelming odds. My beloved doesn't hate Vazrag. They were friends once. It worked, didn't it? The chiefs... Korog is my... Oh, the clan chiefs are far from... An Fucking hate this situation. the wrong way. We have to stop meeting like this. Maybe next you'd better not be pulling my tusk outsider. I've known Krog for a long time. Then there isn't any time to waste. Give me the... There are still some people here in the city that I can count on. Now do whatever you have to and get... I'll make sure Chief Basra gets out of here safely. Don't worry. That is a very shit way to start a kingdom. Shield the route to the moot, didn't he? 
Let me see that. You can get to the move through the temple. I had no idea that path even existed. You go ahead to the temple and check on the High Priestess. Everly and I have one more place we... I'm well aware of that. I'm counting on the start of the move to keep them distracted. But we won't take any unnecessary chances. We need so... You've done the temple. Besieged by weapon-wielding fanatics twice in the same season. It's insane. I know you will. Could it not? What was I thinking coming here? I never should have left Orizon. Stay out of their way. This isn't a good time to visit. If this is about that incident with the fanatics, you should take it up with the king. In these difficult... But... But... Oh, very well. When the king's soldiers banged on the door, she ran... Not a word. She appeared to be as surprised as we were when the soldiers barged in. Normally, soldiers... What in Trenamak's name is going on? Why did Kurog send soldiers after me? They act like I'd done something horrible. Voshrak? I don't understand. But no, they didn't hurt me. Not for lack of trying, though. So tell me, what a ridiculous notion. Trinamac promotes unity and civilization, not anarchy and violence like those Voshrak fanatics claim. Dare I ask? We can't allow that to happen. But why have you come to help me? The clan chiefs are more important. You should be at the moot, doing whatever you can. There's a path to the moot through the temple. Perhaps via the old tunnels. Yes, that must be the way. Here. Here she is. My arrow will Behind you! Mine. On the ledges! More soldiers! Quick, let's get... Oh. 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 Fuck! No. She's down! Make sure none of her allies survive! Get the assassin! I'll take Solgra back to the temple. Go!
surrender! I surrender! You killed some of our be I have my orders. Don't you know that High Priestess Solvra is a criminal, an enemy of... How would I know such a thing? I'm just a simple soldier. I'm not a cultist in disguise. And even if I were, Trinimac will reward my... Oh. The old fashioned way. The fuck? They were soldiers. Trying to stop them would have only put us all in you danger. You've done something. You're cowards. All of you. Solgra didn't deserve this fate, as much as I disagreed with her. Did Solgra know about the tunnels beneath the temple? Was she able to tell you how we can reach the moon before? This isn't going to be like swimming in mud with the Argonians. We're talking about... Then we take the fight to Kurand and Alda. May Trinimac take you to your final reward, High Priestess. Chief Basra! So why not let Trinimac have her? Goodbye, my soul. I'm going with you. Look, it's a mess. We'll never find anything in here. Look around and see if you can find something that looks like a hidden passage. I'll check over here. Another switch. I love You'd think that temp look everywhere. How do I know which switch? Um, which position the switches need to be in?
this. Okay, so one. There we go. Lucky. I guess we're climbing down that hole. I knew you could do it. Now let's go stop the king. <laughs> Silence, chiefs. Your constant bickering has plagued our people for long enough. You isolate yourselves you in your own stronghold, perpetuating our selfish nature. We must change who and what we are. Poor Rob's got a point. We're still going to kill the bastard, right? to appeal to you as equals, but you refuse to listen. I grow tired of arguing with you. The king cares for our people, and all you do is break his heart. The murderous king and his lunatic Getting close. Be ready for anything. Sounds like the time I walked in on an Imga courting ritual. Once we get inside, find Kurog and take him down. We need to save as many chiefs as we can. There's still time if we move fast. We need to open this gate. There's no lever. They must have shut it from the other side. Stand aside and let me work. Get ready to get those people out of there. Trade. Defend yourselves. Just 
Maybe the best display of martial skill I've ever seen. The murdered chiefs, but they're just the tip of Malakath's tusk. More orcs will die as they fight to take control of their clans, all the while ignoring the approach of weak. No. Kurog went from good intentions to madness faster than a hawker swallows a bucket of fish. <laughs> Killing him was the right thing to do. How could it not? Once Kurog was like a brother to me. He was a great orc, a visionary, before his mother corrupted him. Uh, but I've become as gloomy as a drunken breeze. Enough talk. I want to be alone for a while. May your path to the Ashen Forge be lit with the braziers of courage. One time, great brother. Uh, I think I'm at pretty close to the end of the um the clans main no missions by what you did in there follow me i can lead you back to the keep the path should just stay close and follow i'll hop off and make dinner soon anyway so but i'll be back on afterwards ah you're just in time we finished clearing out the Vashrock and the remaining chiefs are waiting for me to address them. Not completely. I'm sure there are still pockets of deluded cultists hiding throughout the countryside. We'll deal with them eventually. Kurog dreamed of a united force of a nation. Of all orc clans standing shoulder. It will all become clear in time. Right now, I need to talk to the chiefs. Came to Rothgar to help Kurog unite our people and rebuild. This last favor is memorial. I do. Kurog was my friend once, and he was a great orc before his ambition got the better of him. Besides, take these notes and deliver them. Everyone should be somewhere in the city. Make them listen to you. Get them to attend Kurog's on your way. Happy. What an odd. Question. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd live to see the city rise again. The thought has crossed my mind. At least under Kurog as part of the Daggerfall Covenant, we were considered strong. We had allies. That's something I need to think about. 
Emmerich's agreement was with Kurov, not the clan chiefs. Mostly to people you know. People who helped us stop Kurov and the Vashrak. There's Bizra, who rarely... The chiefs and I discussed this. We think it's better to remember Kurov for who he was rather than vilify him. We fought side by side long ago. When he left Hrothgar to become a mercenary, Kurog struck a deal with High King Emmerich, agreed to support the Breton ruler in Ranser's war in exchange for the return of Hrothgar. I gotta hop off now. Um, I gotta make go up off, make dinner, and I'll be back on afterwards. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and want to check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at waitos uh, at twitch.tv slash waitos ninety six. Ah, cool. I should be back on later tonight. But yeah. Index app isn't working. Until then, see you later.